spot cannot forget that that is essential right there all right let's get going freaking foggy we're going surf fishing i do have to stop at one of my absolutely favorite places ever here in orange beach and i'm gonna go get some stuff we'll be back choices the choices i love st croix yeah, I love Star. I'm gonna get me one of these 10 foot Star rods, and that is not a bad price whatsoever. $90 for a 10 foot surf rod by Star. You can't beat that. Awesome. I'm gonna get me one of these Shimano Saragosas. Nobody else in town has them. I'm gonna get me one of them 6,000s. With some power pro. Check out that freaking Marlin Bill. That is awesome. Ooh, I'm gonna get me a couple of these too. There's one. I always want to try the metal ones. I'm gonna get me two of these metal ones. Boom. Rod holders and see how they are. Got me a couple of these cool fishermate rod holders. Uh, a new rod. shrimp oh look how pretty it is oh all right let me grab my ice and uh let's get to fishing all right let's go all right how oh, that with the rest of my fish come rod holder Alright, got my new reel. Ooh, it's pretty. Sweet. Got my new rod. And like I said, this star rod is a star aerial, which I love star rods and I love St. Croix rods. This thing was only 90 bucks. Like you can't beat $90 for a 10 foot surf rod. They have nine foot, 10 foot, they have different sizes. And I have a bunch of nine foot rods. So I went with the 10 footer this time for throwing much larger baits. Always make sure whatever you bring with you to the beach, you take back with you. When I say that, I mean trash. Don't leave trash out, it's disrespectful. Sweet. All right, then I spring combo. And then, as always, I'm gonna grab my other Saragosa. This one's a 5,000. I bought a 6,000 with my Ninja Tackle Rod. All right, it is one foggy morning. <laughs> you can barely see, you can't even see the water right now. We do have yellow flags flying, and that is awesome. Which actually right there, it tells you what yellow flags mean. The yellow flags usually mean a calmer surf. But thanks for tuning in to another Bama Saltwater episode. We were out here on the beach this morning. We're making our way out to the beach this morning. So I woke up at around 5.30, went to one of my favorite tackle shops here in Orange Beach, picked up a new surf rod. So I'm just bringing two out here. We're gonna do some surf fishing. It is freaking nice outside. It has been nice all week and I have been working. <laughs> Got to make a living, right? But we're going to get out here and do some surf fishing. If you haven't subscribed already, this would be an excellent time to go and hit that subscribe button. If you have, I appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that bell for notifications when new videos come out. That's enough talking. Let's get to fishing. I'm gonna run one of these two ounce weights. All right, that's a two ounce weight. And all I'm using, if you watch my other videos, is a 
two hook or a double drop pompano rig just a float a bead and a number two owner circle hook now i tie these myself i use 15 pound monofilament line on a swivel it's a 15 pound monofilament line your number two owner hook with your beads and floats of your choice all the way down to a two ounce pyramid weight with the clip that I use to put the pyramid weight on there. And I'm gonna be throwing this on my Ninja Tackle nine foot dagger surf rod with the Shimano Saragosa SW5000 and 20 pound power post super slick line. Now I'm gonna bait this up with some freshly frozen shrimp. Pretty good looking shrimp. It's not the shrimp you get from Walmart. And some of my favorite stuff, this Golden Ghost Crab Fish Gum. If you watch any of my other videos, you know I love this stuff. It's got a whole bunch of different flavors, such as clam, sand flea, shrimp, crab, and more. And it just slowly dissolves in the water and puts out a really nice bait scent. The colors are awesome, and it also keeps your shrimp on the line, too. You can use it by itself, or you can use it with bait, like I'm going to be doing today. And you don't have to keep it on ice, which is nice. So let's get some. Do it with the fish gum. Cut it into strips little squares like that and then with your shrimp i make a little hole throw the head in pinch tail off and peel it completely legs and everything all right my shrimp's peeled completely i'm going to take a knife cut it in half and now it's time to bait up and bait both these hooks up with the same bait thread your shrimp on there hook your fish gum and that's baited up. Let's do the same to the other one. All right, so while I rig up that other one, I'm going to cast this one out and let it be doing its magic here. And all I'm looking for is a break in these waves. You see how those waves are breaking there? Those waves are breaking to my right. They're not breaking right here and you can see the water moving out that's a rip current right here it's moving out and most of the time i have real good success in these rip currents and breaks in the water so let's cast this out right there and see what we can find there we go Telling you, these Saragosas and this rod combo cast this like a dream. I'm gonna put it in the rod holder. All right, my drag is set and that rod is ready for some fish to hit it. Let's go rig up this other rod with the same rig and then get this one out. Now this is another one that I tied. This one's with the yellow floats. I'm gonna bait this one up with the pink shrimp fish gum. Just do a little change up here. I'm going to cast this one out. This one's with the pink shrimp on the new Shimano Saragosa SW6000 on the Star 10 foot aerial surf rod. So let's cast it out. All right. All right, I got both rods set with shrimp and fish gun both on them. And now it's just a waiting game. Well, I'm gonna go try another beach and see if we can find some fish. I have not got a bite at all. Well, I may have got some smaller bites. I just never got hooked. But I'm gonna reel in and see if we can move spots. All right, I have came to a different beach. You can actually see the water. That's where I came from was that way. But I'm gonna go ahead and get set up, same thing, and uh, see if we can get some out here. So, let's get going. All right. I already got a bite already, and I just cast this one out. Literally just cast this out. Something kind of small, might be a whiting. I literally just threw this one out. I might have, I don't even think I have it on anymore doesn't feel like it 
No, I do. I do. Oh, okay. It's a little baby whiting. <laughs> okay, cool. Look, first cast. Literally, I'm not joking. First cast. I didn't even get the other one set out. It's still in the rod holder. I just got it whiting. Now, I'm going to keep this one for bait. There's no size limit on this whiting and there's no krill limits. I like to keep the bigger ones for food, but this one I'm going to keep for bait. I don't have that much more shrimp with me. I do have plenty of fish gum. Well, this is good redfish bait. Y'all, I'm literally not joking. I haven't even put this rod out yet. And that one had already gotten a bite. Sometimes you just need to make a move if you haven't already. If you haven't gotten a bite in a while, you need to either move down the beach or move beaches. So, heck yeah, cool. Whew. Man, that water isn't as cold as last time. There we go. That one's cast out. That's getting a bite. Uh, it's still on. It's really light. I know I'm fishing with a heavier tackle, but even these small whiting are cool catch. Oh, I got a freaking double, dude. <laughs> That's a double. Yo, that is nuts. Look how many. These aren't really eating size fish. Yep. Just fish gum. Oh, that's a little bit better fish, too. This is nuts. I haven't had this good fishing on the beach in a while. Small whiting. Small whiting. But look. That was only on fish gum. That's it. This is crazy. There we go. All right, I think I got a small one on. No, small one, yeah. Let's see here. I don't know, it's got some weight to it. Something crazy. Okay, I see it. What is that? Another little bitty whiting. I did switch to the pink shrimp fish gum a little bit of shrimp hey we need to find some bigger ones okay okay i'll go find you some bigger ones all right let's go get some bigger ones it's set again <laughs> weather sucks it was pretty all week when i'm working then i come fishing and it just straight up sucks weather but it is what it is. I know you can probably barely see me because the lens is covered in water. That tiny whiting. Is that what I got? A tiny whiting. I don't know. I don't know what I have. <laughs> yeah, another miniature whiting. Just catching crab bait today. All right, they're getting smaller and smaller. Usually, when you're fishing, you want your fish to get bigger and bigger. I'm going to toss this little guy or gal back. There you go. Go swim. Get bigger. Let's make another cast. There. Come off. Don't come off. Where are you at? Right here. Well, hey. Okay. A little bit better whiting. Oh, my weight just came off. Ah. Ah. Oh, yeah. You know what I forgot to do is clip my weight in. Okay. That's a little bit better whiting. All right. Not a bad little whiting. I'm going to keep this one. And throw it. Oh, nice. All right. 
Just caught that widening one, cast back out. Oh yeah. See if we can get another one. That is a, dude, this is nuts. Catching some tiny fish on the beach right now. There you go, bud. Go back, get bigger. Dude, what is up? Man, this weather sucks so bad. <laughs> Look at it. It won't stop raining. Hiding. Yeah, it's another whiting. A little smaller than I'm going to keep, so toss it back. Well, fun catching them. It's another whiting, another small one. I mean, if you like instant action, this is instant action right here. But uh, a lot of times I'm after a little bit bigger fish. But uh, it's still fun to get out here and just catch something, especially for kids. All right. What do I got? Oh, yeah. Let's see. A little harder. Okay. Hey, that's a good sign. <laughs> a little baby pompano. Look at that. Hey, what's up, buddy? If you watch my pier fishing video, you saw I caught one of these. I love pompano. They do have to be 12 inches in the state of Alabama. So this one is not a keeper. We're gonna throw it back. There you go, go swim away. That's a great sign seeing that. I know springtime is right around the corner. I am in shorts, even though I'm kind of cold, but my AFCO hoodie's keeping me warm. Springtime, like I said, is right around the corner and they bite awesome during the spring. There's a good pompano run during the spring. Your highest probability of catching a pompano is in the springtime as well. But it's not quite there yet, but they don't go anywhere. <laughs> They just become a little bit harder to catch this time of year. So that's a great sign, even though it's small. Well, I'm gonna call it. So I didn't get skunked, which is nice. Baits I was using, fish gum in the golden ghost crab, and then the fish gum pink shrimp, and then also dead shrimp as well. Fresh dead shrimp from a local tackle shop. And then everything that I was using, all my gear and stuff, is gonna be in the description below. I try to do that on all my videos. But I appreciate you watching. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button down below. If you have, I appreciate you. Go ahead and hit that bell for more notifications. I want to thank the good Lord up above for everything he does for us. And we'll see you later. <laughs>